Hey guys, so this is my first video on Reverse 999 character skills and recommendations. So uh, I have been playing the game for just about a month and I have been looking through uh, Kala's Bauna's kit. But if I do have any mistake, so I apologize in advance. So basically in this video, I will talk about the kit which I extracted from Pryden, um, the website. So they have a very good and comprehensive information about um, the character's kit for all the characters even the one in china up to 1.5 so do visit their website if you would like to know more and once we are done going through her kit i will provide some of my recommendation and how to use her as a budget unit which means without a uh, high portrait or basically she's just at portrait zero and just to note, this is not a should you pull video. I do not really believe in should you pull video because the reason anyone is pulling can be due, can you know, can be because she is your fave. You really like her design, or you lack of mineral DPS and you want her to fulfill your roster, or you just like a damage dealer. But whatever the case is. Um, having played this game for a month, I was able to clear the content with just Inside 2 unit and when I upgraded some of my characters to Inside 3, I noticed that the difficulty actually decreases a lot. So I believe as long as you have a balanced roster with a DPS, with her support and then a healer and everyone is at I3, even a 4 star unit. 5 star unit, you will be able to clear all the content, even the limbos, alright? So really, if you already have a good roster, any subsequent pool is just basically, um, yeah, to basically expand your roster or basically just to have fun, right? Just pull on the characters that you really like. Don't worry too much about which character is meta and which is not, okay? So without further ado, let's start with Kala's Bauna's kit. She's a new character that will be coming in about 10 days time. So let us first talk about her insight. So at insight 1, she get this ability. Uh, when a planet is removed, she gains a stack of Saturn Divination, Mars Divination or Full Moon Divination. Uh, this basically just gives her the penetration rate or leech rate or basically percentage up on skill power right so to me uh, just take this as a bonus step you don't really have to plan on which one that you want to focus on at insight 2 you will get crit rate up by 10 percent but basically at insight 3 this is where her kit becomes more interesting and making her one of the top dps unit in reverse 999 and there's a lot of text there so if you don't want to go through all of those texts basically just remember if you use her incantation her skills you will get a stack of planets so enchanted strike which is a single target attack gives you saturn the aoe one gives you mars and her ultimate gives you full moon and when you use her ultimate she will consume the planet stacks. So for example, if you have stacked up 3 Saturn or 3 Mars, she will basically consume all of it. And based on the number of stacks that you have, then she will do a follow-up attack. So if you have 3 Saturn, she will do an enchanted strike. And the rank is the same as the number of stacks. So if you have 3 stacks, she will do a level 3 enchanted strike or she have 3 set of Mars, she will do it and the um, mythical meteor, level 3 mythical meteor. So this makes it very very strong. And if you have many stacks of full moon, then you can get spell empowerment. Here is written spell incantation, but spell empowerment too for several turns. So spell empowerment basically um, increases the level of your incantation every round but personally 
Uh, don't rely on full moon. I don't think it is practical for you to be triggering spell empowerments. So it is better for you to focus on Saturn and Mars. Um, depending if you are fighting against single target enemy or a, you know, uh, groups of enemies. So that should be your main aim: getting three stack of Saturn or Mars. Uh, at her portrait one, she, her stellar kinetics uh, changed to planet, limited to four, which means now she can have four stacks of planet instead of three. So this does help in terms of trying to get three stacks of either one, Satan or Mars. Okay. For her ultimate singular perfection, is a one target attack and it removes all planets. So it consumes all the planets and it deals 600% mental damage. It gains two stacks of full moon and like I mentioned just now, if you have in inside tree, depending on the number of stacks, she will do a follow attack. Okay, depending if it is Saturn, Mars, or full moon. At portrait two, is the singular perfection effect changed to um, gaining three stack of full moon? And if the number of full moon stack removed by singular perfection is three or more then you gain spell empowerment 2 for up to 3 rounds. So it sounds really really good, but again, I do not think it's practical to trigger this. Alright, just imagine if you use the ultimate. Now you have, let's assume you have 4 stack of full moon because at level 5, uh, portrait 5, you will be getting up to 4 stack of full moon. So now you have 4 stacks of full moon then you want to charge back your moxie in order to use another ultimate to consume the full moon but the thing is that during you know you will be using um enchanted strike you will be using mystical meteor and then that override full moon so how likely is it for you to be getting four or at least three stacks of full moon by the time her ulti is you know uh, recharged so unless you are just combining skills and moving your incantation around in order to get moxie, else it will really be very difficult for you to be getting the four stack, maintaining the four stack, and reuse your ulti to consume the four stack and getting spell empowerment. So instead, treat the full moon as a boost of damage because at P5, you are getting like 4 stack of full moon and each stack is 9% to skill power. So if you have 4 stack at that point, is 36%. Yep, so 36% on your attacks. So treat it more as a damage boost rather than to actually trigger the spell empowerment. As for Enchanted Strike, it's a single target attack, so at max level 3, is 450% mental damage, and if you have Portrait 3, it increases to 490% at level 3 as well. So if you compare this to the other single attacks from other DPS, it's actually not really that high. So mainly, the gameplay of Kala Bauna is basically to rely on her ulti, and then the ulti triggering a level 3, so easily for you to trigger a level 3 of her skill. So even if you are playing the other characters, uh, DPS, it is not really that common for you to be getting several 3-star um, or level 3 incantation, right? So Kalabauna can trigger that easily due to her ultimate having a follow-up attack as long as you are 3 stacks. So this makes it in a way that her gameplay should focus on her ulti and basically her skill is just to build up the stacks. So even though they do not deal that much damage, but that helps the ulti deal big chunk of damage, right? So her next skill is Mythical Meteor. So Mythical Meteor is the AoE attack and up to 335 mental damage to two enemy at level three incantation. And if you have portrait 4, it increases to 360%. But because of Kalas Bauna's LT being a single target attack, um, probably you will bring her most likely for a single target fight where you have one boss and she will be doing very high damage against that boss. 
and not you won't really bring her against um, a group of enemy right so you probably will not be playing around Mars as much so here are some of uh, my take on a playstyle so if you are not having any of a portrait uh, do note that she's still this higher single target damage uh, even at B0 especially when she, only when she have 3 stack of Saturn and she uses her early. so at P0 she can hold up to only 3 planets so you will have to use 3 time and Chandra strike in order to get 3 Saturn so this is subjected to RNG right because the card is random so you need the cards to be giving you Enchanted Strike, Enchanted Strike and so ulti plus 3 star of Satan can deal up to 1050% melee damage so practically getting 2 stat is probably more common and that still equates to 870% melee damage single target which is really high her kit has leech rate and penetration but um, like I say, don't put too much effort on trying to plan for that, just take that as a bonus. The main goal is to get her LT up as quick as possible. Hence, um, she's actually a very good unit to use in Utu Market, because in Utu Market, you can have all the characters focused on providing her Moxie and getting her ultimate as high up as possible with a fame card you know you want characters decrease moxie every turn and giving it to her or when another character uses uh, ultimate they give two moxie to the character on the left most so that does really help um, you can see Kalas Baona's kit shine in such a setup and if you can get her ulti up quickly then you can actually try to get that spell empowerment by triggering her full moon Okay, but if you are not doing Utu Marker, like you are playing Limbo, then probably it is very difficult to actually trigger uh, Full Moon. Now for my recommendation, if you are using her, so if possible, get her P1 because if you have 4 limits of planets, it will be easier for you to get 3 stacks, like you don't have to rely on the game giving you 3 stacks or 3 um, Enchanted Strike in order to get 3 stack of Saturn and if you start the game with her uh, because she really needs as much uh, incantation as possible try to reset the fight until she start with 3 incantation the best is having 2 incantation which is Saturn and 1 Mars then use Mars first then use Saturn so now you have 1 stack of Mars at the top so that would be the one that would be overwritten then you have 2 stack of Saturn so the next turn, um, if you do not have another Satan coming, then you can reset your incantation. That would guarantee you at least one Satan. Then you can use it to get three stacks of Satan. Then you can just simply move one of your incantation, get her ulti up, and you can um, use her ulti with the follow up of a three uh, level three enchanted strike. And at this point, you will have two full moon and you can start spamming some Mars in the hope that you will get more Saturn so while you are spamming Mars you also partially charge your Moxie and when more Saturn is coming in combine them and then use Saturn so this again gives you two stacks and if the third one doesn't appear then you can just reset your incantation again to get the three stacks so from there you can keep on repeating uh, by doing it this way so it will give you a higher guarantee for you to get three stack of Satan. so every time she uses her RT, it will at least be a very very huge um, attack and basically this is my take on how to play uh, Kala Bauna like again if you have P1 then you can slip in a Mars in between uh, two stack and one stack of Satan, and it is still fine Okay, because you can have 3 stacks of Saturn and 1 stack of Mars being in any other position. So the pro of her is that she is a damage dealer, a very very strong damage dealer, especially single target DPS. Her whole kit is about damage. And it might seem very difficult to play her, but if you follow what I have recommended, it is very easy for you to get her ulti up and then um, level 3 Satan follow up the entire time so every time you get ulti it's a very huge damage against the enemy 
Um, the cons is that you have to rely on ulti to deal big damage, but her kit doesn't have anything that charges Moxie. So, she, that's, that is why people say she's a very AP greedy character because she wants to take as much move as possible in order to build up a Moxie. So, be careful if you bring her in a party that you have another character that also need to be taking a lot of turns. Um, another cons is that RAG may not be on your side, so every time you use up some skill, what incantation comes is actually the support unit's incantation, so nothing for Kalabana. So at that point, you have to keep resetting your incantation and it, it won't be that fun to play with. So, and lastly, of course, being a pure DPS, she doesn't really bring anything to the party except for damage. So for party recommendation, I would suggest to bring her with some character that doesn't is AP generous, which means they do not need to be taking so many turns. So like pickles, um, you just want to stack up on the total clarity and then use the total clarity to help quickly charge his uh, ultimate. Then use the ultimate to get boost damage boost and after that you don't have to um, use any of Pickle's incantation for several more rounds where at that point you can focus on using Kala's Baunu, Baunas in order to charge your EX or Anan Lee that can that have her own spell empowerment so she can just don't do anything but getting her spell up and Shaman um, not a lot of people mention about this, but basically Shaman to me, his playstar is more like uh, getting the ulti up and then when his na nature's blessing is at 5 stack after you use ulti, she, he will instantly get another 5 uh, moxie so you can use her, his ulti again. Then after you have done that, you can just wait several more rounds for nature blessing to re rebuild the stacks and during that time, you can spam whatever that you want uh, using Kala Bauna. And at the same time, during Shaman's turn, if you have heard his debuff, then you can use it. So in a way, they kind of kind of take turns doing damage. So I do think that they can work. But if you do get both of them and you will try this out, do let me know. Personally, for me, I won't be pull. I, I, at first, I wanted to put for pull for Color Bauna, but after looking into some of the future units, I would prefer to get 6 and 37 at this point, and I need to save up in order to guarantee getting both of them. So, my current roster I have Mineral uh, Damage Dealer, which is Eternity. I was able to clear off the contents even with inside two units, so I think I will be good for now. Unless I really hit the wall in version 1.3, then I might pull. But at this point, I probably will hold back and save up on more clear drops. Alright, so thank you for watching and have a good day.